Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to connect console cable to the Edge Router X. Probably the other Edge Routers can do the same, but I have only Edge Router X and I actually have the SFP as well. You know what? Let me grab that too. Yep, I have Edge Router X SFP too. First, let's talk about the cable. This is the USB to console cable. This has six pins, six uh, cables, but we only need three. The reason I bought with the six pins and not with the six cables and not with four is that what if I need to connect something in the future that requires these extra pins? For our case, we only need three cables. So let's remove the screws here. So let me show it to you. Where do we connect? Okay, the first pin, we don't connect anything. On the second pin, we connect transmit cable. So keep in mind, some of the cables might be incorrectly labeled. You usually connect transmit to the receiver part here. So first is not connected. The second is transmit. The third will be receive. So that means I'm connecting it to the transmit and then I'm connecting ground. Okay. This is how it is connected. I'll put the actual photo with the higher quality right here in this video so that you can see. But yeah, this is how it looks like. And this allows us to connect to the console of the device. So if you don't have the access because you don't know the IP or it's not working on the IP is not set up for some reason, you can use this to connect to the console without resetting the device. This guy has these four pins as well we can connect console on this device as well. Now let's connect one of these devices to the console cable and see how it works. First, I'm going to show you how to configure the secure safety on Apple. And then I have put it on a Windows and I'll show to you how to configure that. You want to create a session and on the session, on connection, you choose the serial from the drop down menu and then go into serial settings right here and you change this to 57,600. Then you make sure those are unchecked and that's it. So pretty much this is all the configuration you need to have. Now, this specific cable, which I'm gonna put the link from the Amazon, is what it's called on the Mac. It's BG009RH6. And I'm going to open this and now I'm going to connect the power and then let's see what's going on on the screen, how it's booting up. Here's the cable and I'm connecting to it. And look at this, beautiful. You can see all what's going on on the screen. So you know it is booting or not. Does it have any errors or not? So if it starts, you know exactly where does it start. And from there, you might Google something or ask ChatGPT how to solve the problem if you don't know exactly how to solve the problem. But right now, it's booting. You can see that all the services that has to start is starting up. Job is running, you know, starting service, starting service, raising network interfaces. Everything goes okay. I don't have any errors so far. And let's wait. All seems good. And it is ready. Now I can enter UBNT, which is default username password, and I'm logged in. I can from here do configure. And then I can do show interfaces and you can see that this is default interface, default IP address on the Ethernet 0. And Ethernet 1 has the DHP because this interface is ready for the ISP. Now, let's connect to the same edge router using the same cable but from the Windows to see how we have to configure the PuTTY settings or secure security, it doesn't matter, to achieve the same results. Okay, let me show you what serial settings we need to do on a putty. Let's go into serial. Mine is going to be comp2. Why? Because if I go into startup and start and then device manager, I can see that my cable is comp2. You see, this is going to be gone if I unplug the cable. You see, it's gone. Now I plug it back. And from here, I know that this is my cable COM2, okay? Now, let's choose it COM2 here, COM port 2, then the speed 57,600. 
Let's go into serial settings here. Let me close this. And I'm going to do it none, and everything is correct. I'm going to open it. And here you can see this is the console. Oh, there's no show right. There's a show command. Oh, there's not even a show command. There is a show command. And let me shut down this. And again, you can see how the services are stopping and system halted. Okay, it is powered off, should I say, or, or shut down, should I say, because if I show it to you, it's still on. It's shut down, but it still has the, it's not completely pow powered off, should I say. So yeah, this is how you connect the edge router or edge router SFP or any of the other edge router that has the pin connectors to the console cable. Thanks for watching.